Let's show you a live look at Dallas Love Field and DFW airports where we are seeing a whole bunch of cancellations right now. Chris Adegui is live at DFW. Chris, anyone headed to the airport should definitely pay attention to their flight status. Yeah, Kara, because we know with weather like this, it not only affects things on the roads, but in the air. That's why we've been watching our local airports. DFW actually leads the country in cancellations and delays right now. I checked FlightAware. Most of those cancellation and delays are for incoming flights, waiting for the storm to clear so they can safely land. We will see how that trickles into the outgoing flights, though, as people start arriving for that first rush, those first departures of the day. People are slowly starting to arrive. We expect it to pick up here in the next hour or so. We're also keeping an eye on Love Field. They're affected over there. Now, it is a smaller airport, so not as many disruptions as we're seeing here, although we did see some people sleeping on benches waiting for those first flights of the day. If you are flying out this morning or any time today, really, it would be a great idea to keep a close eye on your flight status. Make sure you're getting the notifications. We know how this domino effect works whenever we do have these weather issues at the airport and also leave extra time on the roads, especially this morning. I think I heard Tashara and Megan both mention that portion of 183 near Valley View shut down to one lane. That is just right there outside the south entrance of DFW. So as long as that water's there, it is going to be slow going on 183. Kara, back to you. Okay, Chris, thanks so much. So you want to stay with us this morning on Air and Online for the latest in weather and traffic. We're going to keep you up to date minute by minute. So we want to make sure you're prepared for your day. You can download our app as well. It is free right now.